Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Hakobo coming at you with a little video tutorial. I'm kind of getting smooth edges for things. Um, uh, I'm going to use the bevel and kind of talk about sort of what that's doing and um, you know what <clears throat> other ways you can use to achieve kind of the same effect and sort of how that's used. Um, so I'm just going to create a, um, go over to my polygons and just make a cube. And actually I've, um, under create polygon primitives, I've set this up, um, so it has more subdivisions. So I'm just going to create it, just sort of your default cube. I'm going to do shift D and make a couple copies. Um, and I have created my own shelf with my own, um, things. If you want to make your own shelf, you just go to new shelf, and then when you go over something, you can hit control and shift and add it to the shelf. Um, anyways, so, uh, um, I already have bevel added to this, but I'm going to go under settings. And what's important to look at, um, cube it creates is one by one by one and that's what's going to affect our bevel settings um, so um, you can find um, bevel here under edit mesh you want to go to setting before you bevel it you want to you know select your edges and really um, I think I'll just select these here and um, get ready to bevel and then when we go to edit mesh and bevel we can kinda um, set the number of segments so if it's three I usually like to keep it odd numbers because if it's three it'll keep this initial line and then I'll make another line on this side and another line on the other, so we can do three. Um, I was using a bigger model before, so I think 0.5 is going to be a little high. Um, I'm going to, let's try 0.05, and I can just undo that if it doesn't look good. But there, that looks pretty good, 0.05, and we can see that each one is 1 20th of... The length of a unit. So now, yeah, it's kind of beveled those edges and made it look good. If you look around in the real world, there actually aren't that many um, completely right angles. Um, that'll kind of give your model away for being 3D. Um, if I undo that, I can show you a more pronounced look. We switch this up to 0.1 and bevel that we can see it's created that and we have kind of our this is where initial line was and then we have the new lines it's created and you can do more segments and basically another way you can kind of do that uh, that takes a little more time I'm going to insert an edge loop um, use that tool and really what it's doing is just adding in these lines and then sort of scaling them down. I'm going to hit 4 and go into wireframe so it's easier to select. Go to edge and um, select all the edges here. Um, hit 5 again, kind of scale it down some. And then um, actually I can select face which is the same as selecting all of them and really scale that in and maybe move it down a little bit and really they sh look pretty similar it's just adding in new edges there so you can kind of do that yourself um, but bevels are really good and quick way to do it but really that's what it's basically doing that for you when you hit bevel Another thing you could do that I sometimes do, and I'll show you in a second an instance where that actually works better. Um, if it was just a cube, I'd probably just use the bevel like that. If we go and extrude this cube, yeah, you can kind of do the same thing where you scale it down 
and extrude again G key and yeah kind of the same thing um, as the bevel more or less but like one thing where that really came in handy doing uh, the extrude is if you're selecting a lot of things so let me see um, I was using a cone and let me scale that up R key for scale and do insert edge loop that I grabbed before um, and actually I realized um, when I was making it that um, if you let me go to camera base selection and grab all these you can actually insert edge loops if you make it a cone like this if it's just a cone you can't insert any edge loops to that um, anyways back to object mode kind of scale it up now we can insert our edge loop since it's a cylinder anyways what I'd done is I'd kinda gone in and made sort of this tower for castle I'm working on I'll put up kind of an initial model soon so you can look at that but anyways I was extruding these out and I obviously had like a lot more like 60 of these selected and I extruded and if you do the blue one it'll go out from the center um, and I mean if you hit three you can smooth it see what it looks like smooth but that takes a lot of polygons and adds in a lot of geometry so what I did for that to make it look good is I just extruded again moved it forward a little and moved it in a little and extruded again moved forward and in maybe extruded one more time and now um, you can tweak the settings but that, that looks um, it's kind of got that beveled look to it and what's nice you can go back and you know keep moving them around so um, if you're moving out from all or all directions, I think that's a really great way is just do multiple extrudes because otherwise I would have had to go through and select all the edges and bevel it, and that was a lot faster way to do it and had the same results. So if you have any more questions about getting good looking edges or want to request any tutorials, please just shoot me a message right on my wall, anything like that, and I will hopefully be able to help you out. Thank you very much. This is Akobo finishing up this tutorial.